do what the hell you want stop worrying about what people think because somebody like you might have a bend and somebody be like oh that's the old ass bends though yeah we give thanks like we need it the most we have to give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful hey guys welcome back to my channel i am prob back with another video are you ready for a vibe today is a good day to have a what good day you already know it as you guys can see by the topic i want to talk about this one of the sacrifices that i made this year while i was living at home which was why i chose to ride a scooter i remember i was listening to the baby song and he was talking about like he was shading somebody on a scooter was expecting the box to pull up on the truck man this nigga pulled up on a scooter scooter i was like Scooter's pretty cool. But nevertheless, um, I chose to have a scooter for a year. Well, before I get into this, I just wanna say, if it's your first time checking out my channel, hey boo. If not, welcome back, baby. I hope all is well with you. I hope you consider subscribing to this channel if you like my content because I need your help for it to grow. It's, it's just that simple. But to get into this video, why did I decide to have a scooter for a year? I had already totaled my Hyundai. I had a Sonata. I had a really nice, with a new Sonata. And I totaled it after like getting it new after three months. It was really sad. But after that, um, my husband had a Camaro and we were just sharing his car because I was working in real estate. So I didn't always need a car all the time unless I was going into the office or meeting with clients. So I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to get a car. And I'm so frugal, like my inner, my, how do they say it? like not spirit animal but like my my other person is like a really cheap jewish white man that's who i am inside like i'm so frugal because i used to spend so much now i know how important it is to not only save but to have financial wisdom and nevertheless um once my husband decided to go on the road for his job and I decided to go with him. We actually sold back his Camaro and we gave back both of our cars. We gave back our apartment. After a year, I started having anxiety. I started looking for an outlet. I started to really fall in love with art. Now with me painting and wanting to paint, I was like, you know what? I can just work from home. And my husband was like, you know what? You can just work from home, which also goes into another video of how it felt to, um, not how it felt to not like work but we'll get into that another time with getting a scooter we didn't really need a car so there was really no need for either of us to get a car outside of for people to be like oh why don't you have a car and rentals are very easy to get you just have to put down a deposit and you can get rentals like on Priceline and Hotwire shout out to them okay they're gonna sponsor me soon but on Priceline and Hotwire you can get rentals for like 20 30 bucks a day and that's so cheap so if you're getting a rental like two three times a month it's still so much less than you're paying for like a good car with insurance so we decided to get a scooter and he decided to go back to work so he was like before he left he was like you know what do you want a car and i was like no i want a scooter and he was like he didn't really want to leave me without a car because he felt like the scooter was dangerous i was like listen i will uber I would do what I have to do, but I just didn't feel the need to get a car. We went to the Benz dealership, okay? And I loved, it was like a beautiful like GL250, but I was just like, what is it worth? Now I'm gonna break it down. We bought our scooter. We had gotten an old scooter for really cheap, like two, 300 bucks. And then we ended up getting a new scooter. That scooter was like 700 plus tax. That's all we had to pay. There's no insurance necessary. You don't need insurance. And if you do enlighten me, cause I was told I don't need insurance for my scooter. Gas on it is like the max that you need to put to fill it is like $1.50 to $2. Now you guys have cars where you're paying 300 plus a month, unless your credit is fire. Okay, cause it's only once I had good credit that I was like, wow, things are so much more affordable. But seriously, you're paying what? two. two 200 a month for insurance on top of your car payment now are you really using your car every day and if so how much are you paying for gas now we're adding that up that's what like 500 to 700 dollars a month that you're paying alone for your car that i only paid once for my scooter one flat fee i really wanted to make this video because i wanted to show people that it's okay to make sacrifices it's okay to say you know what I don't care what people think, I'm gonna ride a scooter. Like, I had people that literally were like, oh, you're on a scooter. Like, I saw, I had people that I hadn't seen in a long time, multiple people, that literally saw me on my scooter and were like, oh, hey, as if like something was wrong. 
and in the most humble way I could say like my credit score is the best it's ever been my accounts are the best they've ever been and it was just like what was the point of getting a car I even had like people shade me like oh I know you want to go to here but I know you don't have a car and it's like I was getting I literally I remember in one week I got a rental like three times I think for like a day at a time each because I didn't know exactly when I needed it and guess what I still ended up paying less than I would have paid for a car note. You know what I mean? So I think to me, I just was like willing to make that sacrifice, which it didn't really feel like a sac sacrifice because it was super exhilarating. Like being on a scooter, it was so fun. And it's such, it's a vibe. Like you feel so free and it's a little bit safer. Now I did fall one time. I told that story on the time I almost died video. But um, yeah, man, I, I got a scooter because I felt like it was more financially wise. I felt like it was necessary. I felt like if I'm painting at home and I work from home, I could ride my little scooter to Hobby Lobby. I can ride it to anywhere and not have any issues. And I saved so much by not getting a car and I don't regret it. It was one of the best decisions. So I just say that and I want to say all that to just encourage you to just do what the hell you want. Stop worrying about what people think because somebody like you might have a Benz and somebody be like, oh, that's the old ass Benz though. Like people will always find reasons to like judge you or be like, oh, you fell off if you're not following what they find is like if you're not fitting into their mold. You know what I mean? So that's why I decided to have a scooter and I don't think I would have ever did it on my own. It was like something that just came about. So I encourage you, if you don't have a motorcycle or a scooter, definitely try it, it's exhilarating. But nevertheless, do what you want. Stop worrying about what people think because somebody will be looking at you on your scooter and they'll be in their Audi and they have like $75,000 in debt and they're really not happy. So stop worrying about how it looks and just focus on how it feels. But I just wanted to say, just just make yourself happy, man. But that's why I had a scooter and I'm gonna miss my scooter. But um, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. And if you are looking to be more cost efficient, I definitely encourage you to do the same. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me grow. And um, yeah, help me grow my channel, man. I appreciate you guys. Sending you so much love, lights, and all things good. My name is Pravi. Peace.